Hey folks, it's T uh, Tuesday in the T2 Tile project. We're trying to build a whole new computational stack from the bottom up that can be indefinitely scalable with as much hardware as we can possibly imagine. Uh, uh, for the last six months, we have been using this simulated robot that we call BV uh, and trying to build this indefinitely scalable architecture to represent its sensory motor system, to represent a brain for it. Let's see how it's going so far. So BV had a mission, and the researchers and developers had a plan, sort of, with lots of bugs. Yellow balls in a herd tended to confuse BV, meaning that recovery strategies were inherently important. And there were all sorts of hang-ups that nobody had expected. And the researcher's three-way strategy of pursue, avoid, explore, although it worked pretty well, it had particular trouble, especially when switching between the strategies. There were lots of problems. But still, eventually... Take a direction, BV. <laughs> So BV uh, cleared the table, uh, running on the T2 matrix. Uh, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. This, I mean, this was a ton of work, uh, especially just because, you know, uh, the the process of compiling this code and running this code, debugging this code is all very, very slow. And then, you know, the running of it, you know, that's all big time lapse that we're looking at that. Uh, uh, but nonetheless, uh, success. So starting from last October to, well, supposedly last May, but now, uh, <laughs> uh, in fact, June, uh, to demonstrate a sensory motor homunculus. It wasn't my fantasy, but I'm calling it. BV is that. So challenge is completed one month uh, late. I want to talk a little bit about what's going on inside BV's brain uh, uh, and talk about what my plan is uh, to put myself on the record once again uh, uh, for the rest of 2024 and end up with the schedule. So 
This is my attempt at a clickbait thumbnail. It's an homage to the fish, not a fish uh, <laughs> thumbnail, which worked fairly well for a T Tuesday update quite some time ago. Uh, uh, let's uh, just make a full screen of that. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, and now we can move. <laughs> On. So, as you probably saw, well, I mean, it's all hard to find, see what's going on in the actual uh, demo, but uh, the, what we ended up with was three overall behavioral strategies, which I call grips. Like, you take a grip on a tennis, you can have a tennis racket, you can have a forehand or a backhand grip, you use them for different purposes. So, we have explore, pursue, and avoid as the three uh, major strategies for it. And, you know, the background, uh, you know, it looks kind of green, but that's actually supposed to be yellow. The, the, these photographs of the T2 matrix of BV's brain running uh, haven't been color corrected, so they're a little bit off. But so uh, pursue uh, is the early Breitenberg vehicle from the start. Uh, the red is the avoid, where if you see red, you want to back up and get out of it works most of the time uh, uh, and then finally this uh, blue case and you know the the diamond which represents uh, the current extent of BV's brain it's not just changing colors so that we can see what grip is in effect it's also changing colors because the entire brain needs to know what the current grip is so when it's blue when it's yellow when it's red everybody knows that okay i'm supposed to be routing the signals according to the explore rules i'm supposed to be routing the signals according to the avoid red rules and so on now I see kind of a big difference between uh, avoid and pursue and explore. But, you know, if we look in the uh, the, the actual vehicles book in Chapter 4 or something, uh, talking about how to make more complicated of these vehicles, all we have to do is introduce special elements and connected to each other, uh, and that allows us to have do logic and have brains and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, you know... Okay, but f for me, it, the distinction between avoid and pursue, which are completely stimulus response, they, they are they are based on stuff that's coming in from the outside and then making decisions on the outside. On the one hand, uh, versus explore, uh, uh, which is based on internal decisions that are not visible in any obvious way from the outside. Uh, uh, so to me, this is an important distinction worth keeping because you know down here where it's react, we're talking about combinational circuitry, you know, sort of flow through. You can do it in a single pass. Whereas up here, once we have internal state, once we have these all we have to do threshold devices that could be connected to each other. Now we're not talking combinational logic anymore. We're talking sequential logic and the computational properties of it are totally different uh, and, you know, vastly more complicated. Uh, um, so how does Explore work? Well, the key is this uh, little blue thing uh, down there. Uh, that is a single uh, hidden unit, one of these threshold devices, kind of uh, what uh, Breitenberg was talking about, uh, um, that has actually got a, a, a uh, event counter in it. It just counts up and up and up and then uh, wraps around to zero and so forth. And it makes decisions about what to do, like uh, should we spin around now or should we uh, go straight for a while? Should we spin clock? clockwise or counterclockwise, it makes decisions based on various bits of the counter, which are supposed to be essentially random uh, uh, with respect to what's happening out in the world. I'm not convinced it really works out that way, but... Uh, um, but the point is, once uh, we are in the pursue, I'm sorry, once we are in the explore grip uh, in this picture, uh, um, the uh, talk actually sends signals up to the motor commands directly. So it says things like, you know, uh, go straight, turn uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, and so on. So let's take another look. Well, let's take a little bit, uh, look at a little bit more BV since this is the big final, the big final uh, exam uh, we saw uh, when it worked in the lab, but now let's see what happens on the day of the big presentation. So no red, 
alternating with blue. And, and look at that. That's pursue and explore flickering back and forth. And it does that a lot. There it is again. And you can see how it, it's kind of, uh, BB's a little bit jittery when that's happening because there's kind of different decisions being made depending on which part of the brain currently thinks it's in pursue and which part thinks it's in explore and so on. BB's actually having trouble with those two uh, splitting its attention even though they were far apart. Okay, that's good. Got another one. Explore. Yeah, and there's the jiggering back and forth between avoid and explore. To me, it looks like he's like, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> uh, uh, but, of course, it, uh, it is. Uh, uh, and, you know, sniffing around the, the Earth's uh, uh, until basically it, it, it doesn't see enough yellow to be interested in it. So it's like the Pacific is the only thing that's keeping this uh, 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 earth ball from being kicked off the table as well. Uh, um, now we're down to the last couple here. Uh, um, zoom and uh, uh, and again an awful lot of it seems like wasted time where you know you just turn clockwise why don't you turn counterclockwise uh, um and so bb is acting like you know uh, the world's cheapest uh, uh roomba uh, um you know sort of first version uh, and all right so be it so uh, oh he's already right, he's got one left let's uh i think okay i think he picks it up now I think it picks it up now. BV's uh, pronouns are it. Mm, um. There it is. Okay, so <laughs> uh, uh, that's BV's brain. Um, it, it's exactly like Breitenberg said uh, uh, that there's. Uh, um, you know, when you look at this stuff bottom up, it's very, very easy to interpret intentions, motivations, you know, love, fear, aggression, uh, all that sort of thing. And it's mostly metaphorical, but it's got a germ of truth. It really does. Okay. Next, what's the rest of the year about? Well, you know, here we are on T Tuesday updates. I'm running late, so I'm going to not play the uh, T Tuesday intro bumper that we haven't seen for a while. But over on the Dave Ackley channel, there's also this Hyperspace Academy that has videos every once in a while, like seven years apart. Uh, um, and this is the uh, the opening uh, bumper from the uh, the most recent one. And I want to smash these two together. In particular, this symbol here, it's called the self-image. I want to get that into BV's brain. So the self-image, just very quickly, it is uh, a representation of four computational processes, input, output, sequence, internal thinking, and judging positive or negative. And, you know, BV's already got input and output via its serial loop spinal cord and everything. But now we want to have internal sequencing, which talk is a very, very simple, lame example of, and then judge, am I doing well or doing not so well, which uh, BV has nothing uh, really equivalent to it. Uh, so there's the, the self-image uh, icon again. And again, this is uh, building on a paper that uh, uh, Lou Wilson and I uh, sent out that we're going to hear later this week whether this paper has a chance of being accepted. So we don't know yet. We shall see. Uh, uh, so for the rest of 2024, the T2 matrix self input Self-Image Implementation Challenge. In 2024, implement all four self-image processes on the T2 matrix, improving BV's ability somehow, so that it's less like a Roomba and more like one of those Dyson smart things. And that's going to be it. So the, we here we are in June. We're going to end uh, at the... Uh, 
3156 in November, uh, going to take December off, well, the rest of November and December off, and then we'll conclude, we'll continue, we'll pick up again in January afterwards. So, that is it. Uh, uh, the the goals for next time for July uh, is basically do some internal work, uh, help out BV a little bit more, and have a lot more fun. So I run late, so uh, I'm going to stop. But thanks so much uh, uh, for stopping, and I I hope to see you next time.